Hello everyone and let's check out the 10th memorable chess game of Bobby Fischer and the title for this game is Milking the Cow a funny name so in this chess game the opponent of Fischer is Wolfgang Unziker a tough German player this game was also played in the Zurich tournament in 1959 Bobby Fischer has the white pieces and Fischer starts the game with playing e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, the Spanish opening, a6, attacking the bishop, bishop to a4, knight to f6, and Fischer castled, bishop to e7, rook to e1, defending the pawn, b5, bishop to b3, d6, c3, and also Unziker castled h3 preventing bishop to g4 knight to a5 defending the bishop c5 d4 queen to c7 knight from b to d2 bishop to d7 knight to f1 rook from f to e8 knight to e3 g6 d takes on e5 pawn takes pawn knight to h2 rook from a to d8 lining the rook with the queen so queen to f3 by Fischer, bishop to e6, knight from h to g4, knight takes knight, and h takes on g4, queen to c6, g5, knight to c4, knight to g4, and this knight is looking very annoying, and planning to jump. On f6, so bishop takes knight, queen takes bishop f6, exchanging the pawns, a4, Knight to b6, again exchanging the pawns, bishop to e3, rook to a8, fighting for the open file, rook from e to d1, king to h8, b3, and bishop to g7, by the German player, queen to h4, bishop to f6, and blocking with the bishop, exchanging the bishops, and also exchanging the rooks, simplifying the game and slowly going for the end game removing the pieces in the board one by one well everything is looking equal right now life is looking good for Unziker and also for Fischer and there is nothing extraordinary it looks like a very ordinary and a very normal chess game so after knight to d7 we have bishop to d1 knight to f6 by Unziker if queen takes on e4, so bishop to d1 was part of a plan. So bishop to f3 attacking the queen, a deep move by Fischer. So if queen to f4 exchanging the queens, and what now? Bishop to c6 is the killer move. If defending with the rook, then rook to a8, check, king to g7, rook to a7, and black is losing. Well, probably Bobby Fischer imagined this continuation. He anticipated White to capture the pawn, but of course, White didn't capture the pawn. Unziker also solved the threat. So after bishop to d1, knight to f6, rook to a7 by Fischer, infiltrating on the 7th rank. So after rook to a7, Unziker played queen to d6, bishop to e2, defending rook to e7, and exchanging the rooks, but bishop takes on b5, and Fischer has one extra pawn. Well, white is winning in this position, white is better, and this one extra pawn is going to cost heavily for the German master, king to g7, bishop to e2, queen to c7, queen to e3, queen to a5, g3, queen to a3, well, king to g2 by Fischer, so maybe if queen takes on b3, queen takes pawn on c5, maybe, so queen to a5, not capturing the pawn, queen to d3, queen to b6, queen to c4, and let me show you the other moves faster, c takes on b4, exchanging the pawns, queen to c5, after knight to g4, and also exchanging the queens, king goes for defending this passed pawn, king to f7, f4, king to e7, slowly marching, attacking the knight, defending, 
bishop to b5, bishop comes for the rescue, king to e6, bishop to c4 now, king to e7, c6, advancing with the pawn, and this one extra pawn is ruining everything for Unziker otherwise. It's going to be a draw, obviously, but one extra pawn is winning for white. Knight to e8. F takes on e5. Fischer has two extra pawns now. h6, king to e3. And let me show you the other moves. Faster. So after g5, bishop to e2, attacking the pawn. h4, desperately. Exchanging the pawns, bishop to c4, knight to e8. King to f4, king to d8, king to g4, and how to defend the pawn? King to c7, bishop to f7, attacking the knight, knight to g7, and Fischer captures the pawn with the king. King takes on c6. Well, Bobby Fischer played the move, and Unziker resigned. Well, Bobby Fischer played. King to g5, and where is the knight going? Wolfgang Unziker resigned after king to g5. And let me show you the possible continuation if something like king to c5, this is trapping the knight. And in this position, white is going to capture the knight sooner or later. And white is winning. So king to c5 is out of questions, maybe. So let's say king to d7, again king to f6, attacking the knight, but this time black is defending the knight. But e6, how to defend the pawns? This is not a draw. King to f8, e5, king to e8, e7, and black needs to play a move. So king to d7, king to f7. So let's play one more move, king to c7, and again. This time, white is winning and promoting a queen. Black is in deep trouble, and black is getting checkmated. There is no defense. So this is why, after Fischer played king to g5, Unziker resigned. Another very beautiful chess game by Bobby Fischer from 1959. Well, this was the 10th memorable chess game of Fischer, a very beautiful chess game. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.